WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Ava Marie. Temperatures climbing through the 50s right now. We've hit 53 at BWI, 50 in Jarrettsville, and 52 in Westminster. And where it's been a little bit uh, clearer, we've seen temperatures actually approach 60 in Easton and Salisbury. There have been a few peaks of sun out there early on. But now looking fairly cloudy around the state, though a hint of sun is starting to show up around Hagerstown. A lot of these are low clouds, so it kind of gives the sky that uh, gloomy look, and it's uh, making the air feel really damp as well. And we'll add to that a few sprinkles as we head through the afternoon. Futurecast shows uh, more of those breaking out. This will probably be uh, overdone here. Here. I don't think uh, the showers will be quite this widespread, but it does show that some light activity could pop up later today and then drift towards the eastern shore. That's the spot that could actually see a few more actual showers, maybe into places like Easton. So if you're doing any traveling later today, just know your odds of damp roads starts to increase as we head towards sunset, especially on the eastern shore. But all of this should clear out overnight. We'll just stay cloudy early on. Eventually, the skies will start to clear, so it will get a little cooler tomorrow morning. Temperatures again in the mid 50s through the afternoon, down to 50 by 7. 7 p.m. into the low 40s as we get past midnight and eventually topping down into the 30s tomorrow morning. So low around 42 in the city, 36 for Ellicott City, Edgewood down to 37. Still though mostly above freezing early tomorrow morning. That will change Sunday. That will be a much colder morning. As for tomorrow, we'll move into the low 50s by afternoon, but factor in the wind gusts. They're going to be stronger out of the northwest, partly cloudy skies, but with those gusts, 52 will probably feel more like the 40s. If you plan to do some holiday decorating, have someone hold the ladder for you. Uh, those gusts could be a little surprising. Now as we look at the big picture here, some of you may be still traveling for the holiday. Maybe you have some guests heading back home. Pretty quiet weather across the eastern half of the nation except for those showers and some lake effect snow showers up north. It's the western part of the U.S. that is really active over the next couple of days. A lot of snow in the mountains, but even out towards California, some heavier rain. This big storm system will track across the country so the plains get active the second half of the weekend, and this sets up a big rainmaker that will likely move here through the middle of next week. Our seven-day forecast with temperatures in the 50s over the weekend, but closer to that 50 mark, uh, especially on Sunday morning. It's quite chilly at freezing. We'll likely see a lot of frost, but sun that day. It'll be dry for the Ravens. We expect temperatures that kick off near 50 degrees. Monday looks dry. Tuesday and Wednesday, those are the days that could see rain. Some of that rain could be heavy. We certainly need it.